In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a color palette for GIMP. And the first thing you need to do is add the palettes tab to your dock. Now I'm going to uh, remove it and show you how you can add this uh, palettes dialog to the dock. Now there's a couple of ways of doing it. One way is to uh, click the uh, configure tabs button and go add tab and go over to where it says palettes and click on palettes. Now I like I like to uh, configure the uh, tab to be uh, icon and text so I move down to tab style and select icon to text and there we have the icon and the text. Now I also like the preview style or size to be enormous. This way we can see our at least somewhat what our colors are or what the palette is. A lot of these palettes I've created myself and I'll show you how to do that. The file extension for a palette is .gpl and you'll find uh, the .gpl files in your GIMP user folder under palettes in the palettes folder in your user resources folder of GIMP wherever that may be uh, for 2.10 I believe it's app it's in app data app dat, data for Windows uh, right now I'm using GIMP 2.818 and it's in a totally different place but this process for making palettes will work the same for 2.10 or any earlier versions of GIMP. Uh, anyway, let's get to starting. Let's let's get starting uh, making our new palette from all these colors here. First thing, next thing you want to do, is, uh, we already did the first thing, is to come here to Palettes menu and select New Palette. There's our new palette. I'll move it over here so we can work on it and see it at the same time. And I'm going to name it Violet. V I O L E T. Now this should have added it. Yes, it did. Violet, zero color so far. Now we want to uh, select, come over to the toolbox and select our color picker and make sure it's set to add to palette, which it is, but it's probably going to set be set to foreground color by default that's what the setting is for the color picker which will add the color to the foreground which will add any color you select to the foreground but we want it to add it to the, we want the picker to add to the palette our new palette so we click add to palette and all we have to do now is click on each color and it will add it to our palette over there, our violet palette. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I believe there's 25. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Now if we move our palette out of the way so we can see, you'll see here it says violet 25 colors now you can define each color right now none of them are are defined as you could see in this box it says undefined now if I were to click on any one of these colors you can define them by highlighting where it says undefined and typing in what you'd like to name each color I'm going to leave them undefined because that's generally how I uh, arrange my palettes. I don't define the colors because it just sort of seems like too much work for me. <laughs> anyway, that's it. It's that simple. I hope you learned something and thanks for watching.